How are you, Issa? I'm good. I'm really good. I'm happy to be here. You know, when you wake up and, you know, look in the mirror, how much do you have to fight the urge to say, wow, these other bitches aren't even close? All right. I see what you did there. I see what you did. I, I don't fight the urge at all. The, the urge doesn't come. Really? No, no. What? Do you... When you wake up in the morning, you don't look... You don't look like your best. You know, your breast does things. Uh -huh. I just, I'm focused on brushing my teeth. But I gotta give because... myself positive affirmations, you know what I, I mean? do, I smile at myself in the mirror, yeah. I for sure Mary do. J. Blige said, say good morning gorgeous to yourself. I like that, Mary J. Blige uh, is the truth, so I should listen to her. And she's a Capricorn, so <laughs> shout out Capricorn Day. <laughs> Capricorn Day. Now, uh, Beyonce gave you over a year to enjoy me season. <laughs> Was that enough time? And how's me season been going? Me season's been going great. I'm very grateful for Beyonce and Rihanna for, Rihanna wasn't gonna come out with that album anyway, but for Beyonce for holding off. Um, and I'm, I'm enjoying my me season because of her season. I think we all do, so. Shout out to Beyonce, who just is always on turf. What does me season look like for you? Me season just is when I feel my best, like, you know, and I feel like it, you spend so much time as a, a creator, working on your projects, and when it's out for the world to see, that's that's the exciting part, mm -hmm. like the, the anxiety of just like, are they gonna mess with it? And then yeah. just the excitement of like, oh, I'm about to be out in these streets, because I'm also really reclusive when I'm working. So the excitement of being able to step out, be yourself, look your best, feel your best, that's that's me season. Yeah, when you outside, you be outside, because you be doing some rich shit. I be following your Instagram. No. <laughs> <laughs> rich shit a quarter, you know, I try. Or, now, how, how proud do you think uh, the version of Issa Rae that wrote Awkward Black Girl would be of this version of Issa Big Mogul Rae. Oh, man. She would for sure be proud. She would for sure be like, what? That's how we do it? Okay. okay. Um, but yeah, I'm st she's still inside me, so, uh, you know, we live in this together, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> do you talk to her? Or does she talk to you? I talk to myself a lot. So okay. some version of me is talking to me. I talk to myself out loud. I talk to myself in my sleep. I'm just constantly... I got words for myself. It's you know they say really geniuses right. talk to themselves. They, they, really? Yeah, I read that somewhere. You where? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, I, I believe it. It was I something it, I googled. I do. It was someone on Google. Was it on one of them quote walls that I you think just so. saw? They said all geniuses talk to themselves. Or maybe I just made that up to make myself feel better. Your genius self said that back yeah. to you. Got it. Now, in honor of your new series, rap shit, uh, we've got a little game for you. I love a game. That's right. Slate Night TV. We got to do games. Yes. And this game is called Cat Shit. Okay. All right. Since you're known for being so private, this is your opportunity to like shut down some rumors. Okay. You tell us what's fact and what's cap. All right. All right. Uh, fact or cap? Judging from a recent tweet, you're concerned about the merger between Discovery and Warner Brothers, the company that owns HBO. Fact or cap? Uh, cap. I'm, I'm not worried. Okay. Cause you Issa Rae. No. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> they might get rid of everybody else, but they ain't getting rid of Issa Rae. I, I... We'll see. Time will tell, but I'm not worried. Okay. All right. Uh, fact or cap, you actually bragged as a kid that you would be in a Barbie movie and they all laughed at you? <laughs> you know what, Cap? No, because I didn't imagine myself as a Barbie at all. I never saw really? it. Yeah, so to be in the movie, I was like, this is crazy. Why, because Barbie was white? Barbie was for sure white. Um, <laughs> so that part, yeah. And I just wasn't, I didn't have Barbie tendencies. Yeah. What the hell is Barbie tendencies? You know what Barbie tendencies are. You you're right, you're right, you're exactly right. exactly what they are. Yeah, you're right. White. Um, <laughs> fact to cap, is it true you said you would whip Regina Hall's ass in a fist fight? Um, fact, she always tries me, so. <laughs> she knows what it is. Uh, fact to cap, you were furious, disgusted, bamboozled at how stupid people were when you realized people thought your wedding pictures, pictures were just pics from a random photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> fact I when, Cap, I never said all that. I, I was quite <laughs> amused that people, you know, yeah. listened to me. They trusted me. Yeah. They trusted my captions. So um, I respect that. Thank you for being so gullible and believing. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you decide to announce it that way? Just, Just because I thought it would be cheek. I didn't want to put pictures out initially and then it was going to happen. Um, because, just long story short, so I was like, these pictures are going to come out anyway. I want to do it the way I want to do it. True. Um, and that was it. Uh, fact to Cap. Oh, this is a good one. You told Jay Ellis, AKA Lawrence, to tuck his love for his Nubian white queen so he doesn't turn off his fan base. <laughs> fact, fact to cap, Issa. Why y'all do this? <laughs> why, why are you so messy? What? Why this so messy? This wasn't approved? Cap. <laughs> <laughs>
cap. No further comment. <laughs> Give it up for Easter Ray, y'all.